Where we are in the life cycle right now is the cicadas are hiding right just below the soil surface and emerge when the temperatures are right. It's roughly around 64 degrees soil temperature. And they'll come out, crawl up trees or other inanimate objects like garages and stuff, and they will crawl out of their exoskeletal shell, which is the, the shell that they were in in the nymph form, and they'll emerge as an adult. And at this point, they're soft-bodied. They're kind of white. Uh, they haven't really gotten their true colors yet. It, it takes about two to three days for their, for their bodies to firm up, their new exoskeletons to firm up. And they become their true colors. They, they get to like a really dark brown, almost black color. Their wings become this really bright orange, uh, which is very cool. And they'll have the distinctive red eyes. And after about a week after they emerge, the males will go uh, crawl up to the tops of the trees and start singing to attract mates. And when they do this, the females will start to fly around them. And if they want to show that a male is, you know, worthy of her, uh, she will flick her wings at him and they will mate. Say, girl, if I was a fruit fly, I'd land on you first because you're so sweet. And then the female cicada will then, she'll lay her eggs um, on branches and even main stems of trunks. What she does is she cuts a little a groove into the branch to get to the vascular tissue of the tree. She'll lay her eggs into that groove. It's about 600 eggs, so it's quite a lot. And uh, those eggs will then, after about six or seven weeks, they'll hatch into very, very small nymphs. They're about the size of a very small ant. And uh, they'll start feeding on that, the sap flowing from that vascular tissue. And then they'll feed for a short period of time and then they'll fall to the ground. Uh, they'll start burrowing into the ground and then start feeding on plant roots, both trees as well as, uh, as like herbaceous plants. And then they'll hang out there, really feeding and growing for the next 17 years. Then they'll, they will emerge in that 17th year. The nymphs will come back up to the surface of the soil, and the process starts over again.